Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Caleb Thornton and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some great budget mice options and what, in my opinion, are some of the best options of 2020. We're gonna be comparing and putting head to head the Razer Viper Mini, the SteelSeries Rival 3, and then also the Logitech G203 LightSync, talking about some of the key differences between them, so hopefully you guys can make the best decision for yourselves. If you wanna see a more detailed, in-depth review of each of these individually, I'll have a link down in the description too below, so if you wanna check those out, just make sure you look down there. There. Without further ado though, let's hop right into it. Firstly, talking about the pricings guys, these are all under $50, which is really nice to see with the most expensive of them being the Viper Mini and the G203 LightSync coming in at $40 with the Rival 3 only being 30. So if price is all you care about, then that should make your decision easy. But I wouldn't let a $10 difference make up your mind that easily before we talk more about them. The build quality in all three of these is super solid. Um, really nice to see that for cheaper mice as well. There is no rubber grips on the side. You just get that plastic paneling around the entire thing on all three these options which for my personal taste I find it to be a little bit slippery as far as grip goes on the side panels so if that's something you're sensitive to you might want to look into getting some aftermarket grips. The weight definitely has some discrepancy between these three options with the Viper Mini being the lightest at just 61 grams which is super light especially how it feels near hand. The Rival 3 comes in at 77, which I find strikes a nice balance between not being like super lightweight, but also not being very heavy either. So a nice in between there. And then the heaviest of the bunch here is Logitech G203 coming in at 86 grams, which even though that is the heaviest of the three, it's still not super heavy by any means. And I like a little bit more weight by mouse. I just feel it gives me more control. So if you're looking for just lightweight performance, then the Viper Mini is definitely gonna be right for you. You get a rubber cable on both the G203 and Rival 3, which is unfortunate. It would've been really nice to see something different that offered more flex, Something that was more paracord like which reflects what we see a lot in newer gaming mice but some people just prefer rubber cables and if that's you this is going to be perfect for you the viper mini does have razor speed flux cable which isn't the best but i still think it beats out the rubber cables as far as flexibility goes um, I would recommend just looking into paracording these though if you're gonna get them anyways with a cheaper price point you could probably look into buying a paracord. Shape and how it feels in your hand is always gonna be a big factor and obviously something that's gonna be subjective. These are all right-handed mice even though some of them do feature an ambi shape you're only getting mouse buttons on that left side so obviously it's not gonna really work for a left-handed user just wanted to point that out. Starting with the Razer Viper Mini I would definitely say this one feels the smallest of the bunch. This mouse is definitely gonna be well suited for those of you who like to use a claw or finger type grip style just because the size of it lends itself to that naturally, giving you those nice subtle curves to help you lock into your grip style. Those of you with smaller hands though could probably get into a palm grip with this. Just for me personally, I found it to be too small. The G203 is similar in size Viper Mini, but it has a little bit more width to it, which I find just fills out my hands a little bit more, making for a similar, if not a little bit better claw grip experience, just because it does fill out my hands a bit more. The G203 is often compared to an egg just because of its shape. And we're looking down the back side of it, you can kind of see why it has a fairly flat profile and towards the back, it just kind of rounds off and curves down to the sides of it, um, sloping off from the left and the right. So it's definitely one, I would say, the more unorthodox shape in comparison to the Rival 3 and um, Viper Mini just having a more standard mouse shape that you'd expect. The Rival 3 is the biggest of these three mice. And I would still say though, even though it's the biggest, it's still around a medium size. It also does have an ergonomic shape, giving you some more aggressive curves towards the back, which I really enjoyed for locking me into that claw style grip on both my thumb and pinky. This mouse is going to be good for those of you that like a claw or fingertip grip style, um, those of you that have bigger hands that is. And then for people with medium to small hands, I would say this mouse is gonna feel great for a palm into a claw style. Shape on a mouse is very subjective, so based off your hand size and your preferences, that might change from mouse to mouse, but hopefully based off what I said, it'll give you a good idea to what expect from each one individually. For buttons on these guys, the main difference as far as like um, the type of switch is gonna be on the Razer Viper Mini because you're using Razer's optical switches, which is gonna give you no debounce time. You're not gonna have to worry about double clicking, which is something that some people have said has been an issue as far as double clicking goes with the Logitech mice. I'll say though, for my personal experience, I've never had any issues with that. And without further ado though, I'm just gonna hop right into a sound test, kind of comparing the three so you guys can hear them for yourselves. As you guys can hear from that, that sound test, I would definitely say that the Logitech has the most like crispy tactile clicks, uh, noticeably louder I would say than the Rival 3 and the Viper Mini, which I think feel a lot more similar and sound a lot more similar in comparison to the G203. So if you're someone that likes really crispy, tactile, loud clicks, then Logitech G203 will definitely be well suited for you. 
As far as side buttons go, um, all pretty good on them. I mean, side buttons are never perfect on mice. A little bit of mushiness in there, a little bit of post travel, but nothing severe, especially really good for the budget friendly price that these are at. They are all very minimal, like small buttons, which you're not expecting a big one on these smaller form factor mice either. The only difference between them is that the Logitech G203 does have a space in the side buttons. As far as scroll wheels go on all three of them, they're very similar in feeling. It just kind of feels like you're rolling over smooth bumps. They're all low profile and I think they're well done. It's not a huge difference between mouse to mouse as far as the scroll wheel goes. Then finally down below the scroll, you're gonna get a DPI button, which is gonna allow you to cycle between your preset stages, which you can set in each of the mice respective software. Moving on to the bottom of the mouse, you definitely are gonna get the best feeling, most smooth glide with the Viper Mini. That's because they have pretty chunky and big PTFE, 100% PTFE feet on the Viper Mini, which is gonna provide a more smooth and consistent glide in comparison to the Rival 3 in the G203 Light Sync. Although it is negligible and to someone that's not a really hardcore gamer, I'm not gonna be paying attention to that. I would say you're probably not even gonna notice the difference because it is a very minute detail. The slower glide on the other mice, or even the Razor Viper Mini, it can always be remedied with something like aftermarket feet if you really just wanna improve that glide or take it to the next level. All three of these mice are using optical sensors with the Viper Mini and the Rival 3 able to go up to 8,500 DPI, and then the G203 is able to go up to 8,000. Um, so that should be more than enough to accommodate anyone's needs. I don't think you are gonna need to go over that amount of DPI adjustment. And as I say in almost every mouse review, if you've watched my other videos, as far as optical sensors go in this day and age of mice, you're really hard pressed to find one that's not gonna be spot on, especially when we're talking about three different mice from mainstream big companies that have been producing mice for a while now. These things have been spot on, giving me one-on-one -on -one pixel tracking, no spin outs or faultiness in them overall. Overall, I don't think you're gonna go wrong with no matter which one you choose, and hopefully some of the points I brought out in today's video can help you really narrow it down to what's gonna work best for you. Your preferences, your hand size, or what's just in your setup is gonna mesh the best for you. Um, if you wanna take these to the next level too, I would recommend just looking to some aftermarket mods with the money you're saving by not maybe dishing out for some of those more high-end or premium options, you could really put some things like paracords or aftermarket grips or skates and take these up to the next level, um, up to what might be the best for you, even beyond what those more expensive options offer. And if you wanna see me do that soon, I'm actually gonna be releasing a video of me modding on the Viper Mini, but of course it can be applied to these other two mice as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. If you found the video helpful or informative, please do hit that like button for me as it really helps me out, especially in the YouTube algorithm. If you guys wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll have very, a lot more coming very soon. And as always, if you have any questions about the products or my time or experience with them, definitely leave it down in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next one.